Drin Hozo, Shojere, Darren Taylor, Hake, Tronda Quichin. On behalf of the Tronda Quichin Council and Citizens, I am pleased to, to accept the inscription of Tronda Klondike to the UNESCO World Heritage List. Tronda Klondike is located in the homeland of our people in the northwestern part of what is known as Canada, near the Arctic Circle. Since time immemorial, we have acted as stewards for these waters and lands, and we continue to speak on their behalf. This inscription confirms what we've always known, that Trondike Klondike is a special place with a story of global significance. First though, it has always been our home. As Trondike Wichin people, we take a long range view. We look deep into the past, the teachings of our ancestors, and we think far into the future for our children and grandchildren. We consider the interconnectedness of all things when making decisions for our relatives, the animals, the fish, and the birds. This is our way of life. When newcomers came to our lands in search of gold, our people understood that tremendous change was coming. We also knew that we had to help these people survive in this landscape and teach them how to live here in a good way, according to Trehude our way of life. Trondek Klondike World Heritage Site is a continuation of this work as we honor our history, our future, and our sacred responsibilities in the spirit of reconciliation. As an indigenous-led site, Trondek Klondike is an example of the global experience of colonialism, one we share with many indigenous people around the world. It is the site of significant strengths, struggles, and the enduring culture of the Trondikwichin people. We look forward to continuing to share this important stories inscribed on our lands, stories that carry universal lessons. Masicho, thank you. Jinhozo Shoujue Debi Nagano, Dawson City Huchin, Trondikwichin Dinje. Jordan J. Good day. My name is Debbie Nagano. I'm from Dawson City. I'm Tronda Quichin of the Wolf Clan. I also work as a director of heritage for the Tronda Quichin government. And I also serve as the co-chair of the Tronda Klondike Advisory Committee. I wish to echo Hake's words of thanks. We, the Tronda Quichin, are proud to have taken a leadership role in the nomination process. This was a collective effort that has brought our community even closer together. I wish to express my gratitude to the many people who have contributed to this inscription. The elders who shared their knowledge and stories, the community members who kept this idea alive for decades seem longer. The Chonda Quichon people, the Yukon government, Parks Canada, and the city of Dawson. All the people who worked together on this nomination. This inscription all reflects the work of our ancestors who took care of these lands before us. It also looks to our future generations who will inherit these lands and it honors our sacred relationship with the land itself. Relationships that have existed for time immemorial. Masicho, thank you.